First tonight, forced to make a split-second decision. That's the reality law enforcement face each day, and oftentimes that decision is the difference between life and death. Sir, I just want to make sure you're okay. Please put the gun down. A Hillsborough deputy found herself in this situation yesterday. You may remember this story when checking on an 88-year-old man, discovering he was armed with a gun. After he refused to stand down, the sheriff said she had no choice but to fire. And tonight, Fox 13's Josh Cassio spoke with one deputy who's experienced that turn of events himself and nearly paid the price. Josh is live at the sheriff's office tonight with more on the story, Josh. Yeah, you know, Kelly, you've probably heard the phrase, no two days are alike. That is incredibly fitting when it comes to law enforcement, as is the fact that sometimes seemingly routine cases can turn on a dime just like that. That is something Deputy Adriel Gonzalez recently experienced firsthand. September 24th, Deputy Adriel Gonzalez and his partner are responding to a domestic dispute in Brandon. A man was said to have struck his mother. While trying to speak with him through a locked bedroom door, the call takes an unexpected turn. Alan, why don't you come out and talk to us? Say again. Oh. Oh. Yep. Yep. You got me. Deputy Gonzalez is shot in the right arm. It's no longer a routine encounter. Something like of that magnitude that happens so fast, your mind doesn't process right away. So I, I think it took me a minute or two. Oscar Dwayne, shots fired. You can show up to what you may believe is one thing and then, oh. ah. you know, in a matter of minutes, there's a, a complete 180. That case, for which Gonzalez was awarded the Silver Cross Wednesday, shares some similarities to Tuesday's deadly deputy-involved shooting in Riverview. Sir, put the gun down, please. Sit down or I'll blow you right out. Sir, I don't want to do this. Please put the gun down. What appeared to start as a medical-type call ended with a deputy being forced to shoot an 88-year-old armed man, according to the sheriff. She never retrieved her firearm until he told her that he had a gun. Until then, her latex gloves were on. She was there to save a life. She was there to render aid. It's the unknown that law enforcement deal with day in and day out. And in a worst case scenario, it could be their last day. It doesn't matter what the call notes state or what a complaining is calling in. You just never know what you're showing up to. It comes with the job, whether they're ready or not. And the good news for Deputy Gonzalez, he is fully healed up and back on the job. And he says despite what happened, his mindset is still the same each and every day when he puts on that uniform. By the way, Kelly, FDLE is investigating yesterday's uh, deadly deputy-involved shooting, which, of course, is SOP, standard operating procedure. Yes, and we back are following you. that very closely. Josh Cassio reporting for us. Thank you, Josh.